Highland Park High School students spent the morning discussing what prompted a social media rant by a New York Times best-selling author. Jamie Ford says he was trolled as the keynote speaker for this year's Lit Fest, then not only shared his experience in a scathing Facebook post, but questioned if the incident was part of a deeper cultural issue at the school. Fox 4's Natalie Solis at Highland Park High School with the story. Natalie. Well, Clarice administrators tell me that those students, the freshmen and sophomores who were present for Ford's speech on Thursday, were in an assembly this morning talking about what went wrong. Ford says he was mocked as he tried to talk to those students and now questions if he'll ever come back. Author Jamie Ford's tweet anticipating his Thursday visit to Highland Park High School and finding some good Texas barbecue. Instead, he says he was served disrespect as he spoke to ninth and 10th graders about his latest book. Ford posted, as I opened my mouth to speak again, you began clapping. As I tried to answer questions, you began clapping. For 20 minutes, as I tried to wrap up my presentation, you clapped and cheered randomly, a thousand students trolling me. District officials apologized for not jumping in sooner. The principal has acknowledged that, um, yes, he probably should have stepped in. He's essentially told the students, I should have handled this situation better. Event organizers say out of nearly 700 students, it was a small disruptive group, but all agree Ford didn't get the respect deserved. Students and adults apologizing to him in person and via email. Ford returned Friday for writing workshops and all seemed to go well. Then his harsh public post Saturday saying he was bullied, commenting on the community's wealth and bringing up Highland Park grad Levi Pettit, whose racist rant at OU went viral in 2015. It was really surprising and the fact that he brought in other things that have happened in our community that really weren't related to the literary festival, it was quite a shock. People who were there say what happened might have been inappropriate and immature, but wasn't malicious. They just got carried away with being teenagers. Well, LitFest has been an annual tradition here for 21 years, and organizers say this was the first year that freshmen and sophomores were allowed to sit in for that keynote speech. They say uh, they may consider going back and making it only a privilege for juniors and seniors.